Okay, so today I found one of those gems, I would say, that uh, I really like to take a look at. And this is from Minitool System Booster. Uh, they did not provide this one to me. I got it myself. Uh, they did not pay me for this video. They don't know that I'm making this video. So we will take a look at it. And it says that it's tune up utility to optimize PC performance. And we're going to take a quick look inside this app. Let me just start it. And we are inside the app. Turn on the active care. So it keeps supposedly your PC on peak performance. So first of all, I am just going to hit run a scan from here and see what it finds in our computer because this is supposed to go through deceptive apps junk files windows junk files and all that kind of stuff and here it says 12,000 issues found and i bet most of them are just junk files yep intern windows junk files over 10,000. that is perfect registry issues so we're gonna hit fix and see what it does it should do something and yes, I scanned it for malware or anything like that. And it actually came out really nice. System recommendations. Your computer has one unnecessary or dangerous startup programs and 11 potentially unwanted. Oh, that's perfect. What is that? Wondershare native push service. Actually, this one does not need to be on at all. And open program, I'm going to put off. Okay, that is perfect. And we did this one already. I'm going to hit skip because I don't know what else is there. And there's nothing left here. So it's it's done. Let me hit this one again. Because it needs a minute to update what it just did right now. And here, Bluetooth driver management service. I like this community choice that people voted up or down to have it on startup. I really like that. I am happy that, to see this one almost like virus total. And 97% of people said, don't do it. And I'm going to hit off. I'm going to hit off here because I don't really need any of these. Everything. Express, yeah, I use that. Google Updater. I don't need that either. Uh, authorization, VMware, DHCP service. These I use, so I'm going to leave them on. But that's actually beautiful that it uh, gives you these options and what other people have done and how they have voted that is perfect now it's optimized and deleted a lot of files and from here we have deep clean now this one does the net booster internet cleanup windows cleanup registry cleanup security optimizer program accelerator and memory mechanic meaning it will go scrap whatever is unnecessary on the ram and it will get rid of it so it will in theory make your computer work better and net booster needs hidden internet speeds for faster browsing and downloads a lot of times this can be done, all these, what we're doing here can be done manually too. But when you have an app that can do it for you, why not? And as you saw, it said uh, uh, around 40% cleanup on the internet speed stuff. So that's that's perfect. I like that. Items collabs on clipboard. I don't need them either. And I'm going to hit clean. That's perfect. I So far, I'm liking it. It really looks good so far. So let's see where that goes. Okay, so we have four out of seven. And we'll see what this one does now. Now we are on security right now. Internet Explorer host file 79. What do you mean? Host file redirection. So with the host files, you have to be uh, really careful. I would not suggest you touch them unless you know. If you know what you're doing. Okay, no sessions are enabled a hacker can connect to your computer using an authenticated null session okay this one i'm gonna fix hosts i will check them one by one and see what i need to get rid of trusted avio and usb yeah i don't want to trust any of these two so the host files look more like telemetry stuff and i'm gonna get rid of them and if it breaks anything i can just go back and fix it that's not a big deal but usually with the host files just kind of be a little bit more careful but i read through them and i checked what was going on so and now it's analyzing one of the hard drives looks like probably defragging uh what is that boost file access speed and increase drive efficiency by realigning program data and defragmenting files on your hard drives. Yeah, that's what you do with a mechanical hard drive that is this one right here. That is uh, actually good. The other hard drive is the 6 terabytes and another hard drive 10 terabytes. I might have had to skip this one, but now it's doing it and uh, 
I'm not gonna move it. I'm, I'm gonna let it uh, do its job since we're here. And we'll be right back when it's done. Probably hours. I don't know. And here we are now. It has been going for well, maybe 40 minutes. Uh, scanning the hard drives. And now we are the memory or the RAM. And we're gonna run the RAM mechanic here. And see what it does. And now we have 27... 0.4 gigabytes available and we, we got rid of a lot of stuff 1.3 gigs gained 84 optimizations no issues were found on registries i tried to keep the registries as clean as possible manually and this is perfect so far so what else we have here we have the toolbox now this is my favorite part of this uh, app here it is the advanced uninstaller that you can actually remove apps that sometimes don't show up on the uh app section on windows yeah this guy here i will go after them and uh, find them as you see there is a lot of things for example that i don't even know for example aja system test it's been a long time that i really don't need it anymore and uh but if i go to windows apps I don't see it. It's uh, it's beautiful. So boom, you just get rid of it here and so on and so on. You go through with all these other apps that probably you didn't think you had, including some of the uh, Windows apps. Yeah, I said it. Windows apps can actually be removed as well here. And that is beautiful. You have search and recover to recover accidentally deleted files. You can make bootable USB. That is perfect. Write a USB to completely wipe your PC. So that's up to you. Drive scrubber that you can get rid of data. For example, if you're trying to sell your hard drive or something, you can try that. Or if you don't want your drive to be seen by anyone, you can just always grab a real hammer and <laughs> push put it on fire anyway incinerator extension remove and destroy deleted files so if you have files on the trash turn this guy on and it will get rid of files that uh, are just deleted but not completely removed and that is very beautiful and uh here we have for example when you click on something let's say I'm not going to delete it, but let's say right click on something. You can either send it to the incinerator or incinerate now to fully get rid of them. Absolutely a must have process scanner. So you can find memory intensive background tasks. Just uh, hit scan here and it will find stuff that's eating too much of your memory and too much of your resources. And we have, for example, ADB. That is the uh, connector right here that I connect the... Uh, samsung phones or android but i don't really need to get rid of it i i use it but you have all these uh systems or processes running here if you don't want to keep them terminate process these are just flagged because they're kind of heavier than the rest and that is beautiful and you can check on the network as well let me just see if it finds anything it should not but we never know yep there is nothing and potentially malicious processes that is really I, I really, I'm not getting paid, as I said before, for this app, N nor did they even give me a license. They did not approach me for this one, even though I have an email from Minitool for a different program that we will see here soon. But this one, I went on my own to grab because it just looked too interesting to not take it. Startup optimizer. You can check your startup programs and get rid of the ones you don't want here. You have network scanner to check for devices on your network that you may not want to be there. Just give it a second. I don't think I have many, if any. Well, let's see. There's a lot of these things you're seeing here. I actually do manually. But if you don't have the ability to do it or don't know how to do it manually, this uh, program is absolutely a must, I think, in your computer. It's seriously that good. Okay, so it's almost done here. It took, it took two minutes, actually. Just over two minutes. So we're there. And no items were found. That's actually good. These are open ports. Uh, of course, I am aware of these ones. Yes, I have a uh, sign already on these. Okay, SEI Robotics. Yep, I know what that is. Found devices, none. Bluetooth, yep, I know. Dime 2 Black, Crusher, and RTG2. Uh, okay, and the paired devices, I should have Dime 2 and Crusher Evo. Yep, 
that's perfect so at least i know what's in there and you can check for deceptive programs as far as i know all my programs are very honest they're not deceiving at all <laughs> well let's see what minitool says i hope minitool doesn't try to bash my programs they're all very honest hard-working tax-paying programs <laughs> Okay, so we don't have any deceiving programs. <laughs> okay, so that is so much for the toolbox. And you can do the live boost right here. You can do OptiCore, Ramjet, Accelerite, which increases system performance by minimizing random data writes to hard drives and SSDs, which uh, kind of gives a better chance to your uh, processes to be a little bit faster. And the moment you click this one, you will have to wait uh, for a second because it has to go through everything. And then here you have optimized electricity consumption based on power sense mode. You can choose different modes, but it will wait for Accelerite to actually turn on everything. Uh, that's why I clicked it and it's spinning. But in a minute, it should be able to grab everything it needs to make everything run just a little bit smoother. And as you see right here, Accelerite is now enabled and providing real-time file optimization. Please be advised that you may experience increased boot time the first time you restart your machine after enabling Accelerite. Yeah, I know, because of course it has to go through the drives. And here you have the power sense. You can do ultra performance gaming, music video production, graphics 3D, CAD design. Usually you leave it on video production. You can go programming, endurance, maximize battery, balanced, uh, office productivity, uh, or balanced web browsing. And this goes in and, you know, fiddles with a CPU, GPU, and whatever it needs to optimize it to what you chose that you're doing on your uh, computer. That's a really great uh, option to have, in my opinion. And here are the settings. You have general settings or performance settings that you can choose. A remove Windows junk files. Yes, I don't want that. Removal method for files, either delete or incinerate. I highly suggest you leave it on delete. Just in case it deletes something that you don't want to, you can go back and retrieve it. That is the beauty of it. And the rest is just automatic stuff that, whether you like it or not, that's yours. And basically, this is my overview of Minitool System Booster. Yes, it works. It's not like the C Cleaner. It actually does things. And I had it, this is probably the fourth day now that I've been just playing with it to see if it's even worth it of a video. And it actually, actually is worth it for a video. Now, whether you want to buy it or not, or you can try the free one and see if it works for you, that is up to you. I will leave a link down in the description. It's not sponsored or affiliated or any of that stuff. It's just my choice to make a video on this software. And with that said, please hit like and subscribe, share it with somebody that you might think might want to know or would like to know about this kind of stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye!